Does your system have decent RAM but still feels laggy? Games freezing up? Tabs stuttering? Today, we're going to unlock real RAM performance without needing fancy kits or overclocking. These are seven practical tweaks that can help boost responsiveness, reduce stutters, and improve RAM efficiency on any Windows PC, even if it's completely stock. Let's go step by step, from the most impactful to the most optional. One, check for dual channel mode. Running your RAM in single channel mode can seriously bottleneck performance, especially in games and memory intensive tasks. Even with fast RAM, if it's not in dual channel, your system isn't performing at full potential. What to do? Press Control Shift Escape to open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab and click on Memory. Look for Slots Used in the bottom right corner. If it says 2 of 4, 4 of 4, or something similar, this means multiple RAM sticks are installed, but Task Manager doesn't show whether dual channel is actually enabled. To be sure, check your motherboard manual and confirm the correct dual channel configuration. Usually, it's slot A2 and B2 if you're using two sticks. If you're using four sticks and it shows four of four, you're most likely running in dual channel, but again, it's best to verify in the BIOS. Correctly installing your RAM in dual channel mode can double your memory bandwidth, leading to better gaming performance, faster load times, and smoother multitasking. For a more advanced check, you can also use CPU-Z free tool. Go to the Memory tab and check the Channel field. It will say Dual or Single. 2. Enable XMP slash DOCP slash Expo if available. Most RAM doesn't run at its full advertised speed right out of the box. Instead, it defaults to a safe, lower frequency, often around 2133 to 2666 megahertz. If you want to get the performance you actually paid for, you must enable XMP for Intel or DOCP slash Expo for AMD systems. How to check your current RAM speed? Download and open CPU-Z a free and trusted tool. Go to the Memory tab, look at the DRAM frequency. Multiply that number by 2 to get the actual speed, since DDR equals double data rate. Then switch to the SPD tab and check the XMP profile. If the actual speed is much lower than what's listed under the XMP section, you're not getting full performance yet. How to enable it? Reboot your PC and enter the BIOS usually by pressing Dell or F2 during startup. Look for a setting named XMP slash DOCP slash Expo, depending on your platform. Select Profile 1 and save your settings before exiting. Keep in mind, the BIOS layout can vary significantly between different motherboard brands like ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, or ASRock. Some have a dedicated easy mode, where XMP is a toggle right on the front screen. Others may hide it under AI Tweaker, Advanced Settings, or Overclocking Menus. If you're unsure, refer to your motherboard manual or search online for your exact model plus Enable XMP. 3. Disable SysMain, or SuperFetch. SysMain, formerly called SuperFetch, is a background service that tries to predict which apps you'll open and preloads them into RAM. While this made sense on older systems with mechanical hard drives, it often does more harm than good on modern PCs, especially if you're using an SSD. Instead of speeding things up, it can cause high memory usage and constant disk activity in the background, leading to stutters during gameplay or general use. What to do? Press Win plus R, type services.msc and press Enter. Scroll down and find SysMain in the list. Right-click it, Properties. In the drop-down for Startup Type, select Disabled. Then click the Stop button below to shut it down immediately. Click Apply and OK to save your changes. Benefit, disabling SysMain helps free up RAM, 
reduce background disc thrashing, and prevent performance dips, especially during gameplay or multitasking sessions. It's a low-risk tweak with noticeable improvements for most users on SSD-based systems. 4. Registry Tweak – Disable Paging Executive This tweak tells Windows to keep crucial system components, like kernel code and drivers, in your RAM at all times, instead of swapping them out to your disk. What to do? Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and press Enter. Navigate to the following path. Look for a value named Disable Paging Executive. If it doesn't exist, right-click on the right pane, New, DWORD 32-bit value, and name it Disable Paging Executive. Double-click it and set the value data to 1. Click OK and close the registry editor. Restart your PC to apply the change. 5. Use Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, ISLC. When you run memory-intensive tasks, like gaming or rendering, Windows sometimes holds on to standby memory, even when it's no longer actively needed. Over time, this can build up and reduce available RAM, leading to stuttering, input lag, and delayed texture loads. ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, automatically clears this unused standby memory when RAM runs low, preventing slowdowns without affecting performance. How to use ISLC? Download ISLC from the official site. Launch the program as administrator. Right-click, run as admin. In the main window, set free memory is lower than to 2048 MB. Check the box for start ISLC minimized and auto start monitoring. Optionally, tick launch on Windows startup if you want it running in the background always. Then, click Start to begin monitoring. ISLC constantly clears unused standby memory when your system needs it most, which prevents memory pressure, lag spikes, and stuttering in many modern games, especially those using large textures or big open worlds like Warzone, RDR2, or Starfield. And don't worry, it doesn't interfere with normal RAM usage or stability. 6. Reduce background RAM usage. Freeing up RAM from background clutter gives your system more breathing room, especially important if you're gaming, streaming, or multitasking on 8 to 16 gigabyte systems. What to do? Step 1. Manage startup apps. Press Control, Shift, Escape to open Task Manager. Go to the Startup tab. Disable any apps you don't need to launch with Windows. Examples Spotify, Discord if you open it manually, OneDrive if unused, Steam, Adobe Updater. Fewer startup apps equals faster boot times and less RAM used on idle. Step 2. Disable background services. Press Win plus R, type services.msc, press Enter. Carefully review and disable services that aren't essential. For example, fax, legacy feature unused by most. Remote registry, rarely needed minor security risk. Connected user experiences and telemetry, sends usage data to Microsoft. Print spooler, disable if you don't use a printer. Xbox services, only keep if you use Xbox Game Bar or Game Pass. To disable the service, double click it, set startup type to disabled, then click stop. Don't disable anything if you're unsure. Google the service first or ask me. Seven. Use RAM Map to free up memory by Microsoft. Instead of relying on shady third-party RAM booster apps, use RAM Map, a legitimate free tool from Microsoft's Sys internal suite that gives you detailed control over your system memory. How to use RAM Map? Download RAM Map directly from Microsoft's official website. Just search for Microsoft Sys Internals RAM Map or find the link in the description. Launch the tool, no installation required. Navigate to the Empty menu at the top. Select Empty Standby List. This frees up standby memory, 
RAM that Windows holds on to but doesn't actively use, which can accumulate over time and cause stutters or slowdowns, especially after long gaming sessions or apps with memory leaks. Why use RAM map? Windows often keeps memory reserved for quick access but sometimes fails to release it properly, reducing available RAM for active tasks. RAM map gives you a safe, manual way to clear this standby memory without rebooting. It's trusted by professionals and power users because it comes straight from Microsoft and offers granular control. RAM doesn't just affect loading times. It affects how smooth your system feels. With just a few tweaks, you can free up gigabytes of wasted memory, reduce stutter, and help your PC run like it should. These tweaks won't magically give you more RAM, but they will help your system use it better. If this helped, hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more no-fluff performance tips. Remember, always test carefully and use at your own risk. Results vary depending on your system. See you in the next one.